During the week of June 15th, four U.S. students and their teacher came to Abaco Island in the Bahamas. They were joined by four Bahamian students to study coral reef ecosystems with Dr. John Turner. The purpose of this for us is to, um, to provide you guys with uh, exposure to marine, in, marine environments and to do it in a, from a perspective of how we go about asking questions about what's going on and addressing possible problems that exist in marine environments today. And uh, Abaco is a pretty good place to do this because uh, Abaco does have some issues, but basically because Abaco is a, a less populated island, the marine environments here are in a lot better shape than in a lot of other parts of the Caribbean. We know that the future of marine biology lies in your hands. I mean, the hands of young people like you who have an interest in, in the marine environment. And so I don't think it's too early to, to begin, you know, looking at it from um, the, our perspective, which is a scientist perspective, when you're in high school. So we're really glad you're here. We think it's great. And uh, we hope that this will be a good experience for you. who began studying uh, the functioning of aspects of the endocrine system and looking at something that we call cortisol, which is an, basically a hormone secreted by a gland that sits atop the kidney called the adrenal gland, and it comes from a part of the gland called the adrenal cortex. But first, let's talk about Dr. Turner's research. Dr. Turner goes out and collects fish food, okay, and he collects poop from parrotfishes, you know that. Then what he does is he takes them back to the lab and he puts it through some fancy stuff that ultimately gives him a measurement of the amount of cortisol because cortisol is a steroid it's secreted in the human by the adrenal cortex as I said in the fish it comes out of a gland called the intravenal gland okay similar it's just not as developed as humans it's not as differentiated and it sticks around so it stays in the poop and you can actually measure it and the level of cortisol is determined by the amount of stress that the fish is under.